Just days after coping with the death of her husband, a Kirbyville woman has to deal with the theft of one of his most cherished possessions. 12 News HD's Adam Riot explains the sentimental value behind a stolen necklace. It has an already distraught family begging for help. He was so kind and generous. Alyssa Barton's stepfather passed away Friday after a long battle with cancer. It spread to his liver and then to his lungs and he's been very sick for the last year and a half. The day after Larry Hunt died, his wife returned home from the hospital and discovered some things missing from her bathroom. Several pieces of jewelry had been stolen, among them Hunt's Trinity necklace and his cherished silver cross necklace. We were devastated. We searched everywhere, all over the house. They had vanished within the last few weeks of Hunt's life. The silver cross necklace is only valued at about 60 bucks, but the sentimental value it has for this family is priceless. I remember him wearing it every day, and it was the first thing my mom ever gave him. And she took it off of him before he went to have his surgery and left it here so it would be safe. The strange thing is several expensive laptops, a TV, and video game consoles were left untouched. Barton has no idea who stole the necklace, but hopes they have a change of heart. It's just something that is completely irreplaceable to us, and if they would just return it, it would just make us so happy. She says if the necklace is by some miracle returned, family members say they won't press any charges. In Kirbyville, Adam Wright, 12 News HD. If you have any information that could help in this case, you're asked to call the Jasper County Sheriff's Office.